I am now creating weekly exclusive content for Patreon, so if you are interested in that, go check out the link down below. And of course, if you want to avoid the random lottery of FIFA points, you want to go straight to the source, buy the players directly, use u7buy.com and use the code TVM at checkout. What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome back to another player review. Today we're going to take a look at Ruben Gabrielson. Now this guy replaced, is it Shoji? Is that how you say his name? Probably not, let's be honest. Uh, replaced him as the milestone player because uh, Shoji moved away from Toulouse. So they had to replace him with a Toulouse player or a French league player and they went with Gabrielson. Now, I'm not too disheartened by this because this card is actually very, very good. He's almost to a degree meta, which is really weird for a centre-back. Like, it has happened, of course, Saar, for example, for birthday Saar and Marvi, those are defenders and they're both uh, meta. But... Um, Gabrielson has 99 agility and he's six foot one, which really does help him out a lot in terms of mobility. This card is, of course, free. All you need to do, I say all you need, it's quite a long-winded process if you haven't started, but all you need to do is go through every single uh, objective for Shoji. And then as soon as you pick him up, uh, you need to then complete the added requirements to get Gabrielson. The added requirements are not too difficult to achieve, shouldn't take you too long. And with the majority of people sat around twiddling their thumbs waiting for football to return or waiting for the ability to leave the house, yeah, you might want to, to pick it up and just give it something to, to give you something to do, I should say. It's a good card as well, like a really good card, very underrated. I never see it in people's teams, whether it's a case of people just haven't unlocked it or whether people just don't use it. It's not the easiest of players to fit into a side, I'll grant you that. But if you do have Foot Birthday Saar or a Marvi or an Icon or two at the back, then you might find it a little bit easier uh, than than most but in terms of his stats I mean 82 acceleration 91 sprint speed it's not unheard of but it's not common that's for sure uh, with a center back the other thing of course is the agility as I've as I've mentioned already 99 agility is very very good it's going to feel very very mobile he's going to feel unbelievably quick as well for someone of 6-1 uh, decent balance and reactions as well. His composure is a little low. To be fair, his reactions are actually quite low as well uh, when you compare him to the likes of uh, Moments Ramos or something. Um, defensive stats, pretty good across the board. Defensive awareness does concern me slightly. That's only 81. rest of them are high 80s, but you, know, you can't have everything. Physicals are really nice. The aggression is a touch on the low side, but the strength is 94, 91 jumping and 83 stamina. Stamina is more than sufficient for a centre-back. I mean, even if he lost 10 stamina, you'd still think that that was sufficient. To be fair, if I could take 10 stamina away from, uh, from him and maybe give 5 to defensive awareness and then 5 to reactions maybe i think i'd probably do that but not too bad on the old short passing either 81 a uh, very good shot power not that you'll ever need it but still a very very good underrated understated card got a backbone on him of course which turns him from an 86 rated center back to a 92 so not as good as an anchor which takes him to a 93 and not as good as a lot of other defenders uh, that are out there but a backbone gives him everything that i felt like he needed you know didn't really see the point in boosting up the uh, the dribbling across the board, really. 99 agility is more than enough. The team, or at least one of the teams I've got him in, because I actually played with him in three different teams across two accounts, and I'll tell you why in, in just a second. But uh, I've got him linked into a Marvi there and Saar with Lecomte in goal. I do need a good French goalkeeper. So I'm kind of hoping, and it's going to sound stupid because no one ever wants this, but I am kind of hoping that EA release a French League goalkeeper, like, really soon. I don't know. Like, it's just, yeah. I, yeah, I know. I know a lot of people are not going to want it. A lot of people won't care. This is one of the accounts, uh, accounts that I use quite regularly for objective players and things. It's the account that um, get everything unlocked on. It's sort of the, the grind account, you know, the hardcore grind account. The Road to Glory, I'll sort of spread things out for content purposes. Uh, the other account is mainly just 6 p.m. pack content. And then this account is grinding and uh, just playing uh, an absolute shed load of games. And I have my reasons for that. But yeah, uh, so this is one of the accounts I played with him on. Completely different team. I was actually bringing him on as a sub in a La Liga team for the most part uh, to try and get the La Liga 
objective done. Nice range of passing there, considering. I mean, with a Kemp style, I suppose, uh, 77 long passing, 91 short passing, but still. Uh, so, yeah, I was trying to get that La, La, La Liga objective done for the five rare gold players uh, pack thing. Uh, managed to do it in the end, but he was coming on as a sub. I was bringing him on as a sub, like, really early on. As you can see, we're only 20 minutes into the game and he's playing. So, it wasn't straight from kickoff, but as soon as the ball went out of play, he'd come on. Uh, the next team he was in, of course, is the one that you saw. And uh, he played his the majority of his games in that team. And here we are now on that account with this team. And then another team was a full UCL side because I was trying to play um, trying to play for that uh, icon swaps token. But yeah, so he, he's had his fair run out, shall we say? He's uh, he's had three different teams across two different accounts. Uh, so. If, if there's any uh, myth or rumor of cards feeling different for, for people across different accounts, uh, you'll get to see it or you'll get to hear my thoughts on it. And to be honest, no, not really. He was pretty much the same. Although I will say, and this is no, uh, this isn't me downplaying the card. This isn't me bad mouthing him. This isn't me saying, well, if this guy's better, then he must be trash. He was outplayed by UCL Dejan Lovren uh, in one game, which did surprise me but to be fair I have used Lovren a fair few times in this game and f I don't know I don't know why it was against this guy as well uh, this I used my my UCL team that cost me 20k I had to build it all from scratch apart from Mendy the left back uh, brought him on as a sub I think I brought McGeady on and Kimmich on as well uh, but I beat this guy having gone a goal down uh, good defending there from uh, Gabrielson. He's really good at that, like really strong, robust player. But Lovren had the game of his life. Lovren was absolutely incredible. Like I said, I've used him before, and he doesn't have legs, but he has very good defensive ability, Dejan Lovren. Not going to do a dedicated video on him because that would be pointless, but just to let you know, I actually do really like Lovren in this game. I don't know why. I don't know why he's good, but he actually is. I mean, I wouldn't say take him into foot champs or anything, but he is good. Speaking of, uh, of good, Gabrielson, let's get back to the review. All the things I like about this guy uh, are just plain to see, really. Very good strength, doesn't let the opponent go. He has unbelievable pace. So even the likes of Mbappe and Neymar, which my opponent had there, were almost unable to break away from him. I conceded a goal. It was more my fault moving players out of position. It wasn't actually uh, Gabrielson's fault. I didn't. It wasn't that I moved him out of position, therefore he left the gap. I was moving too many people out of position. He got through and he scored. Uh, but he held his own against that team with stat cards on. And the guy wasn't a bad player either. So, yeah, I was very impressed with him in that game in particular. But across the board, just a really good, solid, robust centre-back. And considering the fact that he's essentially free. I mean, you don't have to spend any money to get him unless you have to build the, the teams in order to go out and you know score the goals or whatever it is to get this card. But uh, I, I still feel... Like, it's worth the grind, worth the effort, especially if you've got time. I mean, if you haven't got a lot of time to play the game and you've kind of calculated that it's going to take you another six weeks to get this guy unlocked with the, you know, a limited amount of time playing, maybe you're still working and you don't have enough time to dedicate to the game, but you do really want the card. I don't know if six weeks is really uh, logical uh, because Team of the Season's coming out, you'll get some really good cheap defenders uh, someone asked me uh, the other day, or even earlier today, is Miranda still a good pickup considering team of the season around the corner? So if people are still considering whether a 98-rated centre-back with a Kemstel on is worth picking up this close to team of the season, I can understand why people wouldn't care about this. But honestly, he fits what a defender not needs to be, but uh, it, it helps to be. You know, like you've got insane agility, very, very good pace, very very strong robust frame his work rates do go against him because he's medium medium sometimes he won't wander forward but sometimes he will be a little bit out of not out of position either that's another word it's i don't know he sort of just drifts i guess drifts out of position not too far just enough that i notice you know uh, so just be aware of that but honestly in terms of the negatives there aren't that many you know aggression could be higher so you could go into a challenge a little bit more fiercely and then the defensive awareness kind of goes hand in hand with that work rate i guess he sort of just he drifts a little bit just just enough to make me notice the weak foot it would be really nice if he had three star or four stars a thing that would be amazing but other than that honestly for a 
free card. This guy is so underrated, so understated, and just a really, really good player. If you can fit him into a team and you have the time to unlock him, I 100% recommend him. I really, really do. If you have enjoyed this play review, do me a favor and hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for you. And until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.